Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade French vanilla ice cream. This is delicious. There's nothing like on a hot summer day to have an ice chilled French vanilla ice cream. So today in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the ingredients you need to make this ice cream. I'm going to walk through the equipment you need and then step by step we're going to go through and we're going to make this ice cream. So if you watch this video from the beginning to the end you're going to be able to make your own delicious French vanilla ice cream at home. Go ahead and get started. So what do you need for the ingredients? Well, you need six different ingredients. This is a very simple and delicious recipe. The first ingredient that we need is half and half, and we're going to need two and a half cups of half and half. Now the next uh, ingredient that we're going to need is eggs, and we need eight egg yolks, so I have my eight eggs here. Uh, that's the second ingredient. The third ingredient, and this is ice cream, we got to make it sweet, is we need one cup of sugar, so I have my sugar here. Once we put all the sugar in, we also need whipping cream. And just like the half and half, we need two and a half cups of whipping cream. And then for the next ingredient, this is the one that really gives it its name, vanilla. Uh, but we need, uh, we need vanilla extract. And I got pure vanilla extract. I wouldn't skimp on this. This gives it the rich vanilla flavor. And you're gonna need four teaspoons of this stuff. And then lastly, the sixth ingredient is salt. We're only gonna need an eighth of a teaspoon. It's only a small amount of salt. Uh, and that's really it. That's all there is. It's a very simple, pure recipe. This is quality ice cream and that's all that goes into it. When you look at some of the store brands, there are a lot more uh, ingredients than just that and there's a lot of stuff you probably don't know. So making homemade ice cream is really the best way to go to get a really quality, delicious and also simple ice cream. Now let's talk about the equipment that you need. Well, first off, the easiest one is you need a kitchen. You're gonna need a stove top, you're gonna need a freezer, you're gonna need a refrigerator. So that's the easy stuff, because all of you have that. And then one thing that you're gonna need in addition to that is an ice cream mixer. Now you can pick up an ice cream mixer uh, at say Bed Bath & Beyond, Amazon, or Walmart.com. You can pick them up for about $30, $40 on the very basic ends. If you have a KitchenAid mixer like I do, uh, you can buy an attachment for that for say $60 to $70 for the ice cream mixer. So here's a look at my ice cream mixer. It's simply kind of a cold unit uh, with a mechanism that churns the ice cream uh, as it's freezing it. Uh, and so this thing runs for about $60, $70. In the description, you can pick this up on Amazon. Uh, it runs for about $60 to $70. Uh, but what, as long as you have those ingredients and you have an ice cream mixer and you have a kitchen, you'll be able to follow along and make this recipe. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump in and let's make some ice cream. One of the things I also want to mention before we get started is I'm going to throw up the nutrition facts. You can take a quick look at that. Uh, don't let that discourage you from following along with this recipe. I mean, after all, it is ice cream that we're eating. But why don't we go ahead and get started and let's make some ice cream. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to take our half and half and we're going to heat it up. Now, we want to get this nice and hot. We don't want to bring it to boiling, but we want to get it hot and we're going to have to stir it often. Um, so what we're going to do first is let's get our two and a half cups of half and half. And what we want to do is we want to bring the half and half to a near boil, so not quite at the point of boiling, but we want to get it nice and hot so it's steamy. And as soon as we do that, we're going to take it off the heat. Okay, so now I've removed the half and half uh, from, the, uh, from the heat. And the next step is we're going to take a cup of sugar and we're going to take the eight egg yolks and then we're going to mix them together. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's get our cup of sugar. Take our one cup of sugar, we're going to throw that into our mixing bowl. And the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to break open the eight eggs and we're going to take the yolk out of this. And now you don't have to throw away the egg whites. What you could do is you could, you know, save those, put those in a container, you could eat that for breakfast. Or if you're going to make ice cream cones, ice cream cones take more egg white than they do yolk. Uh, so hey, make the ice cream where you need the egg yolk and then make the cones where you need the egg whites. And you got a perfect relationship there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, let's crack these open. All right, so I cracked all the eggs, got the egg yolk out, I separated the egg white from the egg yolk, and it, it takes a little bit of practice to do it. Just crack the egg open, and you kind of go back and forth to get the egg white out from the egg yolk. Uh, but after you do one, two of the eggs, it'll be pretty simple to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Uh, so what I've done is I, uh, I have a bowl here, I'm just gonna save my, uh, I'm gonna save my egg whites 
uh, for tomorrow, I'll maybe throw it in my breakfast and I could have some egg whites. Uh, but what I've done is I've taken my eight uh, egg yolks and I've uh, put them in the mixer bowl and I uh, put it in with the one cup of sugar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the KitchenAid now. Uh, I'm gonna switch it on to the second speed and I'm gonna let that go for about 30 seconds or so. You can see that mixing it up. Uh, if you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, you can do this by hand. You don't really need a mixer. Uh, this is kind of a little overkill. It's a little fancy to be able to use a mixer, uh, but you can do it by hand just as easily. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that for about 30 seconds. So uh, you can see it going right there. Uh, and then once it's gone for about 30 seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the half and half mixture and I'm going to pour that in. I'm going to get the half and half mixture uh, that I just heated up on the stove top and we're gonna mix this in with the egg and sugar mixture. So let's take the half and half here and I'm gonna pour this in nice and slowly and we're gonna mix these together. And what I'm gonna do is uh, once, once we're done pouring this in, uh, we're gonna return all of this to the stove top and we're gonna heat it up. I'm not going to heat it to the point of boiling because we have egg in there. We don't want that to solidify, uh, but we're going to get it just hot enough. Okay, so I think that's uh, mixed up nicely. What I'm going to do now is let's get the saucepan back on the stove top and I'm going to take the mixture now. It's all nice mixed together. Let's lift that up. I'm going to take this mixture now and we're going to move it to the stove top. Get the heat back on. So what we want to do here is we want to heat it up so it's nice and hot and we want small bubbles to form around the edges and we also want to see steam coming up. That will show that it's very hot. But remember we don't want to bring this to a boil. Uh, there is an egg in there and we don't want that egg to harden at all. Uh, and as we're, as we're heating this up, we want to make sure that we're continuously uh, mixing this. And what I like to do is uh, once, I, once I finish heating this up, I'll run it through a strainer. Just in case any pieces of egg uh, got hard, I'll be able to remove that before it goes into the ice cream. Uh, once, you, once you've done this a number of times uh, and once you've had practice, uh, you won't need that fail safe step. Uh, but just like a, a little hack that you could do just to make sure that your product turns out with good quality. And uh, once, once we have small bubbles forming around the end, edge and we see steam coming up, we can remove that from the heat. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take another bowl and we're going to pour this hot mixture into the bowl and then we're going to mix in the whipping cream, the vanilla and the salt. So we're going to take our half and half sugar uh, mixture and egg yolk mixture and I'm going to pour that into a large bowl. One of the things you could do is if you want to make sure you don't get any hardened egg in there, just use a strainer and you could pour it through there. And that way if there are any kind of chunks of egg, uh, you'll make sure you remove those before you put that through um, as part of your ice cream. What that we're going to do is let's take our whipping cream and we're going to take two and a half cups of that and we're going to mix it in uh, with the half and half sugar and egg yolk mixture. Go ahead and mix that up. As a next step, we're going to take four teaspoons of vanilla extract and we're going to mix that in. And then the last step is we need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and the smallest mine goes is a, uh, is a fourth of a teaspoon, so we're going to do about half of that uh, and then we're going to mix that in. I'll go ahead and mix that in. And so now we have all six ingredients mixed in and now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stir up the ice cream or the ice cream mix. You can start smelling that delicious ice cream flavor of the vanilla extract mixed in with the half and half, the whipping cream, the egg yolk, and just a really good smell. This will take about 16 servings of ice cream, uh, servings uh, half a cup. Uh, so just a small amount of ice cream, uh, but you'll get about 16. Uh, it's a good, it's like a good jug of ice cream that you'd say get at the store. Okay, and once once it's all uh, mixed together and you have all the ingredients in, 
Uh, the last step that we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this mixture and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and chill it. And what we're gonna wanna do is chill it for at least eight hours straight. We wanna get it nice and cold before we put it into the ice cream mixer. All right, well, welcome back. It's a new day and it's been eight hours and I've let the I've let the ice cream mixer chill now for eight hours. That's the amount of time you need. You need to get it nice and chilled before we start the mixing process. So we're all ready to go. I'm gonna grab the mixer, I'm gonna grab the mix and then let's get started and we're gonna mix some ice cream. Go ahead and hook this up to the kit in there. All right, that is secure. We're gonna take the mixing mechanism. I'm gonna put that inside. Okay. So we're gonna pour it in nice and slowly. We'll give that about 16 servings of ice cream going right in here. All right, well we got our ice cream mix that we pulled together. And now this is gonna run for about 20 minutes and then once that's up, we're gonna have some fresh, delicious, soft serve consistency. And then if you want that hard, kind of harder consistency, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that in the freezer, put it in there for a few hours, and after a few hours, you're gonna have nice, solid, delicious French vanilla ice cream. Mixer. This is kind of soft syrup consistency right now. I put it into. And there you can see the churned ice cream. You can see kind of the consistency right now. So very much like soft serve ice cream. There it is. This is the this is the ice cream and uh, so our soft serve consistency. And then we're gonna put it in the freezer next and get it get it chilled. All right. Now the next step is we wait, uh, let's say two to three hours, and then we can eat some harder ice cream. I'm probably gonna sample some and have some of the soft serve. So it's been about five or six hours since we wrapped up the uh, mixing of the ice cream. So let's go check it out and take a look at what it looks like. Here it is, nice vanilla ice cream. It looks like it's still hardening, but let's, uh, let's take a look and see what this is like. Okay, so I got my ice cream scooper. We have a bowl and let's see what this is like. Well, look at that, it's still very soft consistency. A little bit more time in the freezer and this is gonna harden up, but this is already looking very good. Look at that nice soft ice cream. Put that in, and let's try it out. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this tastes. This is really good ice cream. Hopefully, you were able to follow along and you got your ice cream to taste just as good as this. But this is delicious, great vanilla ice cream, and that's how easy it is. You just need uh, six simple ingredients. You need your ice cream mixer, and then with those, you can create ice cream that tastes equally good as this. Anyway, I hope all of you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see future content like this, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime content like this comes out. All right, thanks a lot, and enjoy your ice cream. This isn't gonna last long in this household. Actually, you know, Kevin, you're not gonna like it. It's, it didn't turn out quite white. I'll take care of it. <laughs>